In this video, I want to show you how to extract text of your scanner, so your PDF documents, or also text right from your screen very easily on Linux. I want to present you two different applications today. The first application is NAPS2, not another PDF scanner. But trust me, this PDF scanner is really, really good. It is as compatible as the document scanner on Linux Mint, for example, but has a lot more functionality. If you want to make sure which file you're downloading, then head to more files here. And here we see our Linux installer. And I take the 64-bit DEB file because I'm here on Linux Mint. Also Ubuntu and Debian users could use this DEB file. Then I downloaded this again. And yeah, this has a very weird file name, to be honest. I just double click it. Then we see here the install package button. So I install this package here and after some time NAPS2 is finished. So now it's time to extract text of our PDF document and take an OCR conversion. For that I have a scan of a research paper we see here. Yeah, this looks beautiful, but we can't select any text out of here. So I start it up and it is in first very, very easy to just plug in your scanner, hit to scan, and then this is very easily scanning your document and uh, putting all the pages in here. Because I don't have a scanner today, I'm taking a PDF document here. Otherwise, you could also um, paste in there some pictures you took, for example, very, very easily to get them OCR scanned. So for the first option, you have scanned something or in the second option, you just put in some pages to OCR scan now. And here we see our OCR button. I click on it and then we can select all languages we want to download. For me, English is completely fine. So I select download here and after that, I set it to make PDFs searchable using OCR. OCR language English is fine. And then we also have our OCR mode, which we could apply. Fast is completely enough for most of the cases. So just keep it here and um, then select OK. Also, we can check here preemptively run OCR after scanning. So for the next time, if you just hit scan, then the OCR process is automatically applied to your scanned page is very, very easy, very neat. So I select OK here. And then in the end, I select Save PDF. Then I'm just going to my documents folder, OCR document, for example, and then select Save here. Perfect. And after a few seconds, this has been saved and OCR scanned, so to say. And here we see our my OCR document PDF very, very cool. And then we see we have text selectable. And so if I copy this one here and paste it to a text editor, for example, then you see, okay, yeah, this text looks quite fine. This document viewer doesn't display the text when it's selected, but I guess this is fine for now. And which is much more important, you can now very easily search through your scanned PDF documents. I am in our document folder here um, and then I hit the search icon here and then we can also search for content now. And of course, for example, if I search for control, then we see our OCR document in our content because yeah, control is a word inside the PDF document, which makes it really, really great. And this is the first part of the video. So very easy now to make your PDFs searchable. This is the easiest tool I had found in the Linux universe um, for PDF scanning and OCR conversion and very, very easy. So this is it for our PDF documents. Then let us come to our second part of the video. And this is if we want to copy some text, which isn't selectable. For example, I have an image here and I want very easily just take a screenshot of it and just copy the text from it. And um, yeah, this is also very easy for that. I can recommend another tool, which I just found in the app store and this 
this is called Frog. There's also Frogato, a great 2D platformer, um, but today we want to have a look at Frog. I select install here and continue. This is a flat pack, but very, very easy and very fast. So after installing, I launch the program here and here we see our frog window. Just if you are not English speaking, um, then you can install other languages under open menu here, then hit preferences and then down here you can select new languages, for example, yeah, installed languages, and then you can see um, almost all languages you want to scan. But for me this is fine, so I close the preferences here. And what I recommend is pressing Control Shift Print, and then I can do a screenshot of this, for example, perfect. And now I select Paste Image, and then this is translated into text very easy. What is in particular Control Shift Print? This is the default hotkey on Linux Mint. If you want to take a screenshot of a specific area and paste it in your clipboard, so for example this one, and then I can just hit paste image here and it is transferring from my clipboard into this program and then it's analyzing very very fast what I want to copy. Otherwise you could also take a screenshot for example and then this translates every text it can find on your screen. This might be helpful but to be honest then you have to search really through which text we want to copy. So I get way better results just by really quickly taking a screenshot and then pasting it into this frog program here. This was the second program I want to show you in this video and this is it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful tips about Linux and open source software and see you next time. Bye bye.